A team, including researchers from here in California, is trying to understand the threat from a climate-related event thousands of miles away. And Spencer's back with us right now to show you the problem. It is a massive problem, Spencer. Oh, it's a huge problem, uh, Larry. And I'm, we're talking about the massive ice melt from glaciers in Greenland. And the measurements taken from the glaciers could have implications for San Francisco Bay. With its rugged, snow-covered glaciers, there's no confusing the coast of Greenland with the shoreline of San Francisco Bay. But researchers believe a climate threat there could ultimately become a threat here. Greenland has lost more than 3 trillion tons of ice in the last 15 years, and that's enough to raise global sea levels. I mean, the entire planet by a centimeter, about a half an inch. Now, Josh Willis and a team from the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena are in Greenland trying to answer an unnerving question. How much ice will melt and how quickly? The answers could have a direct effect on how we plan for tidal rise in San Francisco Bay. One, drop. Away. The mission, captured in this NASA JPL footage, is called OMG for Oceans Melting Greenland. For the last several years, Willis and his colleagues have been dropping sensors around the perimeter of the area's massive coastline. The goal, to measure the stunning amounts of water that are being flushed out of the glaciers as they come in contact with warming ocean waters. Now, we kind of think of Greenland's ice sheet as a big ice cube that's melting under a hairdryer, but really it's more like uh, this ice is getting uh, flushed off of the ice sheet in these huge rivers of ice. And it's coming as the area is experiencing a year of extreme ice melt. Fellow JPL researcher Eric Reno says the shifting weight is so immense it can actually cause subtle changes in the Earth's crust. And making sea level rise far away, in particular in California and San Francisco, we are affected by what's happening in Greenland and Antarctica, even though it's very far. Still, how much the melt will affect sea level rise and how quickly are key unknowns. They could drive everything from how we plan to protect our current bay shoreline to what areas will still be viable in the future. It means that we really don't know how much sea level rise to prepare for from Greenland. We just know it's going to be a lot. Is it going to be a whole lot or just a little lot? Critical information that would help us better plan for a long-term climate threat, a threat that could ultimately reach our shores. Now, one unsettling note, last week, rain, not snow, rain, fell on Greenland's highest summit for the first time on record. That is an indication of rising temperatures there. And, of course, once again, the point of the whole piece is that uh, rising temperatures there and the melting ice there uh, can affect us as well. And now, the University of California's uh, Energy Institute is researching how to price energy. And is this supposed to be my read, too? <laughs> You're doing so well, you might as well keep going. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a roll. Yeah, I'm on keep a roll it. here. No, just, just, I went from one, re take it if you one like, bit Spencer. of research information to another. But the, the bottom line is we're talking about climate change as a result of global warming. That means it has global implications. So what is happening in Greenland and other parts of the world will have implications for what happens here in San Francisco Bay.